And welcome to First at Four. A local high school student is recovering after receiving a heart transplant two weeks to the day after she collapsed during track practice. Well, for the first time, we're hearing from the ones who are being credited for saving her life. And 2 News reporter Riley Phillips continues our coverage of this heroic story. They say it takes a village to raise a child, and Alex Brummett and Emily March say they are proud to be a part of the village at Stebbins High School. They're the athletic trainers who jumped into action when senior athlete Ebony Sherwood suffered a heart attack during practice. All right, down to the Alex and Emily have been working together at Stebbins High School for the last few years. For them, athletic training is not just a job, it's a calling. You have the opportunity to really make an impact and really make a difference with these kids. Um, and to me, that is just the best, absolute best part of my job. Their training was put to the test on March 8th when three sport athlete Ebony Sherwood collapsed during track practice. Alex says there was a moment of shock, but they immediately sprang into action. In those moments, we are so versed in our protocols, and everything that you kind of just click into it. Mm -hmm. um, you just go through the steps and procedures in your heads because you remind went through them so many times that it kind of becomes instinct. The pair performed CPR and used an AED before paramedics arrived and took Ebony to the hospital. While they say they always prepare for worst case scenarios, they never want to see one of their athletes go through something like this. It's been difficult to deal with because one of the perks of the profession is that we get so close with these student athletes, um, unlike most emergency responders who don't always have that direct connection with who they see. It's been difficult to deal with because we have known her for years. Alex and Emily are now being called heroes for helping save Ebony's life, but they say they were just doing their jobs. That's why we're there. We we purposefully plan and we meticulously go through these plans with all of our coaches every single year. We meet with EMS every year. We're always ready for these types of situations. Mm -hmm. As the community continues to rally around Ebony and the Stebbins family during this difficult time, Alex and Emily are grateful for the love and support they've received, and they hope this highlights the importance of athletic trainers. I knew we were appreciated and I knew we did a good job, but just seeing the outpouring of support from our patients and our parents just means the world to me because it means that we're making a difference. Alex and Emily work for Kettering Health, which has a contract with the Mad River Local School District. As for Ebony's recovery, she received a new heart on Tuesday and she is still being monitored in the hospital. There is a GoFundMe set up to help with her medical bills. In the studio, Riley Phillips, 2 News.